Parents in Uvalde are fired up this morning after learning a former DPS trooper is now required to protect some of the same children who are trapped inside Robb Elementary. Overnight, we learned that she is one of the troopers that is currently under investigation after that mass shooting earlier this year. Chris Adeke is in studio with us this morning, and Chris, she's got a new title, but a lot of parents want to know just how this slipped through the cracks. Yes, Mark, this story broke late last night, and it is infuriating the parents of those Robb Elementary victims. An officer who was at Robb Elementary that day left her job at DPS and is an under investigation, however, now working as a Uvalde schools officer. This was a story that CNN broke last night. ABC News has since confirmed they named Crimson Elizondo as the officer and parents in Uvalde recognized her as one of the faces they saw in the body camera video. From that day, 19 children and two teachers were killed. On that day, she was working for DPS, one of the officers seen arriving just a couple minutes after the shooting began. And CNN reports she was one of seven DPS officers currently under investigation for their actions or lack thereof. As a Uvalde CISD officer, she is now protecting school children again, this time at Uvalde Elementary. That's the new school that Rob Elementary students attend, and that's where she was recognized. Adding to the anger, there's a portion of the body camera video where Elizondo is asked if her son was at the school and she responds by saying this. No, if my son had been in there, yeah. in the, I would not have been outside, I promise you that. And the parents of the victims venting online on Twitter about that comment. Kimberly Garcia, she is the mother of Emery Joe Garza, who was killed at Rob Elementary, she says it wasn't your baby, right? That's why you didn't go in. Officer Elizondo, she was there within minutes, but her child wasn't in there, so it didn't matter. My child was in there. Another mother, Gloria Cazares, the mother of Jackie Cazares, says what mother would leave another mother's babies in those rooms to die? This is a developing story. We're not sure yet. If the district knew that Elizondo was under investigation, so that's something we will be following. Karen Mark, back to you.